So guys, if you're in Vegas Pro 18 and you have an NVIDIA graphics card, these are the best settings. First, once you're in Vegas, you want to click on settings, which will take you to the project properties. You want to just select your width and your height for your video, and then make the full resolution rendering quality as best. And then you want to set the resample mode to disable resample, and then click on OK. Then you want to head over to options on the top, and then click on preferences. Then you want to click on file I.O. You want to make sure that enable legacy AVC decoding has been ticked and then click on apply. Then you want to head over to the video tab and then you want to set the dynamic RAM preview max to zero and then you want to select your graphics card right here and then click on OK. Next, you want to head over to render. I'm going to turn off this filter and then under formats, you want to select Magix, AVC, AAC, MP4 and then you want to scroll up until you find Internet HD 1080p 59.94 FPS NVENC. You want to click on it and then click on customize template. And now next to frame size, you want to select custom frame size and then you want to make the width 2560 by 1440. This will render the video in 2K, which will give you the VP9 codec, which will increase the overall quality of your YouTube video. Next, you want to set the profile to high and then you want to set the frame rate to 60. And then you want to make sure that variable bit rate is selected. And then you want to head over to your recording software. So this is mine right here. You want to find out which bit rate that you're recording at. So my bit rate is on 30 megabits per second. So you want to go back, which means that you want to set the maximum to 30 and then put a one on the end. And then for the average, you want to set it to 30 and then just leave it like this. So it just depends on your recording software, what bit rate you're recording at. Then you want to set the encode mode to NV encoder. And then you want to head over to project and then set the video rendering quality to best. And then you want to click on save and then click on OK, and then you could just render in this. These are the best settings.